I made a video on why I don't like to use flange categorized fittings in Revit. Um, and the example I used was for grooved fittings. Of course, you're going to need a coupling at the end of your pipe to attach the fitting. And while the flange category seems to solve that problem rather readily, as you saw in that video, it does create a number of other issues and it can be very frustrating to deal with. And I only briefly mentioned how I prefer to use it, but this video is actually going to focus on how I associate couplings, for instance, with the fittings that, that they're going to uh, attach to the end of a pipe. So I'm going to draw a piece of pipe here, and I've got the Auto Spring RVT ribbon up, and this button, actually, the pipe button, does exactly the same thing as this button. It's just in a more convenient location. And I'm using the Victolic fittings here. And if you look at the schedule, and I've done some minor modifications here so that it shows the model as it relates to uh, the angle. So I've got two fittings, four couplings, and that's exactly what we have here. However, one of the arguments I've received is, well, what if you have to attach these two fittings together? You're still going to have four fittings, and that is true. I'm going to bring these together. If we look at the schedule, we still have four couplings and we only need three. So when I nested these couplings into that elbow, I gave it a visibility control. And when you turn off visibility, you'll notice it's no longer counting four couplings, but only three. Another argument that I had gotten was, well, if you nest in these couplings into your elbow, you're stuck with that. To an extent, that's true. However, it is easy to change as well. If you go into the family, ignore that, and you load in that coupling, some very quick and easy modification work to get it loaded in here, you can actually just switch them out. Now, normally, I would want to save this off as something else, but for the sake of simplicity in this video, I'm just going to overwrite the one that's in the project. So now if I look at the schedule, we have one of those odd couplings and then, on, and then two of the ones we had before. So it is rather easy to make changes to fittings that, that you maybe need to do have an alternative scenario for. But that is how I handle dealing with, say, couplings at the ends of pipe as opposed to having a flange categorized coupling.